everyone, welcome to tonight's recap of So You Think You Can Dance. Is it the top seven, or is it? <laughs> it is technically, but Ashley is injured, she has severe rib pain, and she can't dance this week. So She's it's automatically kind of like going to be six. in the bottom three tomorrow. Oh. That's sad, because I really liked her. Uh, judges, Nigel, Mia, and Adam Shankman. The contestants are going to be doing two dances each, one with a pro and one with each other, kind of. some with a pro. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Uh, Lauren and Mark were up first. They did a Tahitian dance. I was excited for this. Tiana Lee Fao, Jungle by Last Voices. Um, It was entertaining. Yeah. There was a whole lot of butt shaking. I felt like I was at a luau, a hukilau in Hawaii. Yeah. So I guess it was good. I mean, if I felt like I was in Hawaii. But you know what? This performance reminded me, there's just not enough Mark this season. Exactly. Because there aren't many girls on the show, so the guys don't have as much opportunity to dance I'm gonna as the girl pros. I'm going to have to agree pros. with that. I want to see more Mark. I'd like, I would not mind seeing uh, Mark with another guy dance. Not anything else. Just dance. <laughs> Adichike and Anya were up next with their salsa, Liz Lira. Now you have to say that. And? No, Danny Davalos did the song. Then who's that? He did the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Liz Lira and Danny Davalos were the choreographers. Okay, and the song was Oyelo Que Te Conviene. By Eddie Palmieri. All right, his posture was not good. I don't know what was going on there. It was clunky. It wasn't smooth. The tricks were good, though. Yeah. Um. There was just something off about his footwork and his posture for me. But yeah, it he, was the same thing with Robert and his ballroom dance. Right. He said he didn't want to go home. I don't think he's going to be going home. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jose and Courtney were up next with their Broadway number by Joey Dowling. Love Joey Dowling. We almost crapped in our collective pants when we heard the song was Mr. Cellophane from Chicago and... Performed by none other than John C. Riley. Thank you very much. I was so hoping it was going to be him and not the Broadway cast. All right. Choreography, I was really disappointed that it was so easy. Well, she had to water it down a little bit. I guess, because I really like Joey Dowling as a choreographer. This was still, like, a good piece, Yeah. it looked a little weak because Jose, does he doesn't have the training. Graceful? No. He needs dance lessons. I think we should just give him a hug this week and send him home. And, yes, we understand. He is a nice person. He's a great personality. He works really hard. But if he doesn't have the talent, he doesn't have the talent. Exactly. Robert and Allison up next with a tra- blah, Travis Wall Contemporary. <laughs> Fix You by Coldplay. This was very emotional, this piece, and I really loved it. It this probably was, was my favorite of the night. Stopper. It definitely was my favorite. Fantastic, standing ovation, and you damn well better believe they deserved it. Uh, it was right on the money. What more can we say about it? Perfection. Yes. All right, Billy and Anya up next with their jive. Louis Van Amstel. <laughs> All right, uh, Paradise by the Dashboard Light by Meatloaf, another winner, but they cut it to shreds. They had to. All right. Some parts of it were really great, but some were coming off a little bit contemporary for my taste. I like the whole vibe of it, though. Yeah. I thought it was a really good connection between Billy and Anya. and Yeah, the chemistry and the partnership uh, Billy is improving on, but um, it wasn't my favorite. All right, the big winner of the night, Kent. I with thought we Neil. just said this was the big winner. Of the night. No, I mean the big dancer oh, winner. Oh, right, right, right. Because I loved everything that Kent was in. But first, he was in a, a Broadway number with Neil, choreographed by Tice Diorio, Shoeless Joe from Hannibal Mo, from Damn Yankees. Mm-hmm. Great performance. They were having a blast. We were having a blast. I loved it. It was perfect. All right, Billy and Lauren up next. The first. To dance with each other. Jazz. Is a jazz by Mandy Moore. The, sh- the song. The song <laughs> was Boogie Shoes by Casey and the Sunshine Band. I liked it a lot. It was adorable. Yeah, it was. What can you say bad about that? It just, I was like physically smiling because yeah. of it. Like, it was I just, cute. I loved it. Jose and Dominic up next with their B-Boy routine. First one ever by Nappy Tabs. Battle for the Beat by District 78. How convenient. What a coincidence. Hmm. Why the sword, though? 
I didn't get that. Because it was supposed to be like King Arthur. Okay. King Arthur in the hood. Uh, parts of it were amazing, like the beginning part where they were totally in sync and they were mm -hmm. just like like they were marionette puppets. I love when they do that. I didn't really appreciate the cr the crotch slap. I thought that was kind of weird. <laughs> it was off-center of the crotch. Other was part, it? I think it was. <laughs> Other parts were surprisingly eh, eh, eh. eh. Yeah, I thought it was good, though, overall. Yeah, but the beginning I thought was pretty amazing. Then it went downhill from there. All right, another uh, winner of the night, Kent, along with Etta Chike, Contemporary by D. Caspery, You Only Disappear by Tom McRae. This was, by far, Etta Chike's best. Yeah. His personality really showed. Mm -hmm. I think it really helped him out, too, uh, the video package before. Mm -hmm. He was really personable. Yep. I loved it. Yeah, um, he was like a gazelle, not a Giselle. And don't say, you guys just say what the judges said. Do you even know what dancing is? Yeah, we do. Um, well, she does. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, we wrote that down way before Mia misspoke, mm -hmm. before she was a mishpuka. It was like a quiet strength, too. Yeah, and Kent was great, as usual, because he's the big winner of the night. Uh, Robert and Catherine up. Uh, to finish the show, Catherine's in for Ashley because obviously she couldn't perform, and Catherine is friggin' amazing, so she picked it up like that. Uh, they danced a Doriana Sanchez disco to instant replay by Dan Hartman. First, let me say, Doriana Sanchez makes impossible routines. She does. Impossible. I mean, some of the ones that I've seen in the past were like, I don't think that's humanly possible. But when they do work, they're incredible. Yes. This, on the other hand, was sloppy. It was a little sloppy, Joe. Um, yeah. They were really into it, though, and that made me feel like, oh, okay, all right. But then, like, at some points, I was like, ugh. Sloppy. I was cringing a little bit. Yeah. But also, I was really afraid for her because at some points it seemed like she was in danger. You have to take into <laughs> consideration he did not start out with her. That's true. He wasn't dancing with her the whole time. So. I have to agree with Mia, though. You didn't agree with Mia. I thought he needed to be a little bit more masculine. I thought he was as masculine as he needed to be. Mm, I'm going to disagree. All right. Tomorrow, Christina Perry performs and one tiny dancer will be caught. It's going to be tough. Yeah. So till tomorrow, guys. Much, Much love. love.